In 1910, a woman named Dr. Alice Hamilton walked into America's deadliest factories, not as an inspector, but as a witness. She saw men coughing up blood in paint shops, women collapsing in rubber plants, children dying in neighborhoods near refineries. She asked one question, what is killing them? Her answer, lead, mercury, benzene, chemicals used in paint, gasoline, rubber, all silently poisoning workers. She wasn't a politician. She had no army, no corporate backing, just a notebook, a stethoscope, and a refusal to look away. She published her findings. She testified before Congress. She demanded, stop putting poison in our air, our water, our gasoline. Industry called her a hysterical woman. Newspapers said she was anti-progress. Oil companies blacklisted her research. For decades, her warnings were ignored. Lead stayed in gasoline. Mercury stayed in factories. Workers kept dying. She died in 1970, alone, forgotten, her life's work buried in archives. It wasn't until the 1970s, after her death, that the U.S. finally banned leaded gasoline because of her. Today, every child is tested for lead. Every factory follows safety rules. But how many know her name? Dr. Hamilton once said, I didn't want fame. I wanted workers to go home alive. If you've ever filled your car with gas or walked past a factory or seen a child play safely in a park, you've lived the world she fought for. Don't let her name be forgotten again.